going on everybody welcome back it's your girl empress gem here to drop some more jewels november's energy reads for 2020 is up scorpio happy birthday you are first guys all the information you're looking for in regards to follow me on my social media platforms booking personal readings and shopping our website mnmenergy.com is all listed below i appreciate you guys for all your likes comments shares and subscribes keep showing me that support your girl feels it the love is there okay that's why I get up here and I'll be begging out these readings for you guys. So everything else has been pre-shuffled with the exception to these couple decks you're gonna see me do here. Okay. Um, but I can tell you what I did get um for the energy so far is you guys are really walking away, like you're really done. Um, you're very aware of past energy. Um, I do feel like the full moon really helped close out a lot of cycles for you guys, okay. Um for some of you, I do feel there's still some unease. You have to be very patient here because a lot of things are still wrapping up. We still have, you know, Mercury retrograde until the third. Um, a whole bunch of other stuff. Look, let's just get an energy, okay? But I can tell you guys that a lot of cycles has closed for a lot of you, especially like deceiving and people who are lying. People who you thought were your friends, you know, who were trying to look out for your highest good, they really weren't, okay? Um, yeah, but definitely a lot of past energy, you being very aware of energy of your past and what their true intentions were. So, let's get it. Guys, we're going to do our little answer question at the end, so have that in mind because, you know, I do the three shuffles. But your affirmation for this month is magic. I believe in magic. I see evidence of, of it all the time. And though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidence. I fill mine with, holy crap, that's unbelievable. Now, I did see the awareness, which is, which is the magician in the pre-shuffle for you guys. That is what fell out. So, you could also have somebody from your past who was trying to manipulate and pull some wool over your eyes. Okay? Keep that in mind. Gotta say it, because I've seen it. But keep your positive thinking up, guys. What you feed your mind is what you become. What you think is what you create. So positive, positive, positive. Let's stay up on it. Your crystal, like a rock in a hard place, huh? Pyrite. Pyrite, a.k.a. fool's gold. And I do see a lot of, like, yellow. So yellow, gold, okay. Pyrite, a.k.a. fool's gold, is a metallic sulfide mineral. It's bringing confident vibes and often perfect cubic structure align us with nature's power to give energy. So amazing, beautiful things like you, baby. Who needs it? The chronically lethargic. Anybody sleeping on their potential? Okay. Where do you put it? You put it near your solar plexus, which is what I was picking up with the yellow as well. Your solar plexus chakra <clears throat> or your center. But it works wonders anywhere you need a little boost of masculine energy. For example, on the fellas, the low, low abdomen. Just saying, you know. When to use it on that romantic weekend away from the kids and whenever the energy to power through feelings shrouded in dark matter. So in other words, you need to call on your core power. Okay. Your underlying cabin site. You need to expand your consciousness. Oh, I love this one. So pretty. Okay. In case you needed the name. But you need to expand your consciousness, positive thinking, guys. Lots of blue here as well. Okay, that's our thoughts, communications. We are still in Mercury retrograde, so positive, positive, positive. All right, guys, five card spread. Let's get it. Main energy. What you know about the energy. Spirit wants to show you about the energy. How we get here. And where we're going. Okay, underneath the deck, you guys have two sevens, so definitely um, divine time and lots of the divinity in this and these numbers here, especially with your center energy being an 11, which is, in this case, justice, a Libra energy. Um, yeah, wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, seven, 11, very important. You also have two fives and you have two nines out here. Okay, 55, 555 five, five, or 999. Nine. But you are standing your ground to something that 
you know, you've been, this been, it's been a long time coming, okay? And I did pick up the fact that you guys did need to have some patience, you know, wait. Um, the general message for everyone is things are now, are now rolling out and taking place. Like everything will be in fine, will be finalized by next year, okay? But you are standing your ground and you need to stand your ground for some of you. Seriously, because you have been, you went through all these seasons, all these changes. You done did all that you need to do. What I'm seeing here is about balance this month. The energy about balancing things out, you know, about what you're manifesting and who's trying to manifest you and, you know, um, vibing as high as you can, you know, staying away from any low energies that can draw and pull you down. Um, especially with you knowing that you are successful and independent on your own here, okay, that you have been materials materially harvesting your crops like everything you have planted has grown and you have been reaping what you have sown here okay you're very abundant right now scorpio in your own could be dealing with a virgo because the universe is you know with the hermit energy out here the universe is trying to show you that you you are capable okay you need to get away you need to stay in hermit mode you need to continue to disconnect from those who no longer serve you OK, um, you are gaining the knowledge you are receiving wish fulfillment. You are receiving the keys to the city. OK, um, but again, you need to stay grounded, stay grounded in your thoughts, stay grounded in your speech, here, especially as this woman sits in blue. OK, Mercury retrograde. Be mindful of the past. OK, these things is changing. You're, it's two fives in your your past and your present here, okay? So things are definitely, definitely changing. This is definitely a journey of yourself here. You aligning within yourself, within spirit, within what it is you want to do. Again, believing in magic, okay? Um, definitely. Yeah, calling on your core power. I had to remind myself of your uh, your crystal. But calling on your core power, standing your ground here, okay? Um, you are hurt. Seriously. You are seriously hurt. People play with you, play with your emotions, play with your mind, everything. But you stay focused, okay? That's the thing about it. It's like you stay focused. You knew you you took the L, and the L was for lesson, not a loss, okay? You learned what you needed to learn, and you moved on, okay? I see here that when you're moving with this hierophant energy here, this Taurus energy here, definitely by the month of May, you'll be fully move, removed from the situation. So yes, guys, I know May. I'm talking about like a whole nother like six, seven months from now. Seven, okay? But it's going to be worth it because, I mean, once you come out of this hermit energy, it, it, it's like springtime. I'm, I'm, it's more like spring, Okay. So you're going to blossom and bloom like a beautiful flower here, okay? Let's get some clarity here. Underneath the deck, yeah, you will be very victorious here with the Six of Wands. Why do we have balance as the main energy for our Scorpio spirit? Why do we have balance here for our Scorpios? Thank you. Yeah, because it's over. The truth has been revealed, okay? It's time to rebirth your situation, time to bring new life into you. Take this new leap of faith here, okay? Aries energy. Judgment, I pick up Scorpio heavy with you there, okay? As an ending, and I also get Libra energy again. Okay, that's ten t two tens here, okay? So I'm still seeing one one, so 11 11 is very important here, okay? It's very major moves, guys, making major moves. I feel that as an energy for the collective, you know, just really finally closing out things. This full moon did it, okay? And whatever's sent around, I mean, it might take a few months to really get it cleared out because you have energy that is still trying to manipulate and keep its way in. Some folks knew that, you know, they was losing you in your energy space and your source. They were losing you. Yeah, you know that you have become very independent, successful, away from all those people who are obsessed with your energy, energy vampires, people who are trying to suck you dry okay um capricorn energy here could be done with a capricorn but this is definitely low vibing okay and you've vibrated yourself out of 
being caught up in drama, caught up in illusions and stuff. Yeah. What has broken your heart? This is what led you up to where we are today. This disappointment, this emotional loss, the same five of cups that you have in your past energy here. Okay. So yeah, yeah, you're very aware of that. And that's why you're just like, no, I can do this by myself. I'm going to be by myself. Okay. Oh, that's quite a bit. And yep, the universe is trying to show you that you can be successful here overall at the end of the day. Have your wealth in abundance. You need to hold on to your power and just chill out, okay? Do not make any investments and think wisely of whatever offers or that's coming into you. And this could definitely be work with all these pinnacles, guys. This is general energy. So this could be work, family, love, friends, um, school. It doesn't matter. Okay, it's general energy. Okay, by the end of the day, you need to stay within yourself so that you can retain retain your power. Okay, reclaim your time. Okay, um, just hang out. Don't make any rash moves. Don't really make any decisions here. The Seven of Pentacles is the same Seven of Pentacles here. Okay, um, just be patient. Just wait. Think about every move that you're gonna make. Go back and, you know, revisit, understand why, you know, someone is coming back to deal with you, okay? Or um, if you feel it's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. And just revisit, you know, because I see here you, you'll you be very wise with whatever decision you make moving forward into the future. But as far as your stability here, Spirit is asking that you stay within. They're trying to show you that you still have some work you need to do. There's still some more messages that needs to come in. Yes, you are doing the work. Yes, you are becoming very independent and detaching yourself away from all low vibe type of energy, but there's still some work that you need to do here so that you can reach this 10 of pentacles that you want here, okay? Underneath that, guys, not for nothing was the ace of wands. So definitely a new passionate beginning that can lead to the stability and longevity that you're looking for. So in the past here, you had to take an emotional loss, some regrets here, um, people playing with your emotions, people lying, okay, just breaking your heart, stealing from you, okay. Um, somebody had a heart attack, actually, an actual heart attack. Yeah, blockages, the heart block, that's what I picked up. So, um, but definitely lots of blockages. You dealt with lots of blockages in the past, people spying on you, okay, um, gossiping about you, um, just coming in, causing little petty arguments, disagreements, fights, just trying to slow you down, heavily trying to slow you down. Yeah, especially at work, you know, your work dynamic, or this could even be like a mother, um, your mother, mother-in-law. Uh, if you're a man, this could have been your wife or a woman, you know, your husband, like just they could have did something that blocked you, you know, probably out here messing around with folks or whatever, putting blockages in your relationship, um, giving to others, just also could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got um, lots of Earth out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Pisces with that hangman energy. Okay. Yeah, but you just, you dealt with a lot of blockages in the past, okay? Things that were just like, people just letting you down. And it's like, now it's like that magical moment here. The balance is coming and it's that magical moment. Scorpio, you got to continue to believe in the magic, okay? Believe that things are going to and will work out in your favor. Spirit, why do we have this wisdom going into the future here, please? For our Scorpios, our wonderful Scorpios. Ooh. The unknown. You will become very enlightened to the unknown, okay? Very aware to some emotional stuff going on. Cancer energy. I did say seven, lots of seven, so... Something that might have happened back in July, cancer season, end of June, top of July. Something could have happened, seriously, 7-11, something could have happened, okay? And now you're just like really seeing what it was all about. Like you, everything is becoming illuminated to you. You're, you're really becoming wise and hip to the situation, to these people who are causing you blockages, who are holding you back, who are causing delays here. You're finally balancing this out and you're able to move forward here. I've also picked up that some of you guys will be moving in stealth mode. Like, say if you're living with someone, you're just going to get up and bounce. If you're working for a company, like you're going to have a new job and then you're just going to not show up at your next one. And it's just like, you know what, whatever, because y'all never showed up for me, so I'm, I'm done. Like, you're just going to really suck your energy so quick and like... A water. 
water. That's what I hear. That's what I hear people, like I hear them say, but you gotta be patient, stay positive in your thinking, you're getting out of the situation. Either way, you're getting out of the situation. Sit in her memo as you gather more information on what's going on. So that way you can have all your T's crossed, all your I's dotted. You got all your receipts when you exit stage left. You feel me? So the lessons to learn is about relationships. Spirit, as we close out, what are the messages? The final lessons for our Scorpios. Lots of intuitive cards here, guys. Okay, need to use your intuition. Listening to, yeah, lots of them. Lots of all of them. They're all purple, all crown and third eye chakra. Okay, lots of meditation is needed, guys. Okay, positive thinking. Remember what you think you attract. Okay, so with your first card falling out as worry, I learned that worry doesn't change the outcome. You do not need to worry anymore. That's what I'm saying. Positive thinking. Honesty. I can always expect the truth from others. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So yes, that's definitely helping you bring about that balance, that Libra energy, that justice there. Okay. You have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. Uh, exactly. Once you go within, you'll become aware. That's the emotions. You'll become very aware of things in, in regards to emotions, like who is really there for you, who you really love, who really loves you, like that fake love, okay, and all that stuff. You're going to see it, but you have to continue to detach yourself as you are. And then underneath, you guys have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. You're going to have to stand your ground, put your foot down to somebody who you once cared about, okay? That's just what it is. Um, somebody who you probably always gave the benefit of the doubt. And it's, now it's just the point where it's like, yo, like you've been blocking me all this time. All this time. Every time I'm down, you put me down even more. When I try to go up, you do some shit and throw a wrench in my plans. I can't deal with you no more. You don't need to deal with them anymore. I mean, that's just, that's how I feel. Somebody who's like constantly blocking you and causing you this you know, upset and they're supposed to be a friend or someone who is like, or like a confident or somebody who you're supposed to be able to depend on. Like this person, they just lie, they betray, they backstab. Like they're the devil, okay? They're the devil. And it's time to bring the balance to that. It's time for you to shed light on that. It's time for you to call them out. So spirit, let's get this final card here, guys. I hope you had your question going. Okay, I'm gonna do the last shuffle. Slowly before I part, I'll give you your message off the top. <laughs> All right. Scorpio, we thank Spirit as we go through November. And I will see you guys at your next reading, which will be love. Your answer is success. So, whatever that means, whatever you ask, there will be success. And whatever that second question was, no. That little extra thought, no, okay? So, yes, yeah, Scorps, that's been your message for the month. I know you guys know what to do with the information. Until next time, guys, peace out.